Hello Oxbow Creek students and staff. Welcome to a new week. It's a short one, just two days of school, Monday and Tuesday this week, and then you transition into winter break. We will see you all back in school on January 4th. I hope you have a great winter break and are able to find some ways to enjoy celebrations and time, whether that be just playing outside together or doing those special family activities that you do together. I hope you enjoy that. This time away is special. And while things are a little different than we would like them to be, having the opportunity to be near people that you love and care about is really the most important thing. Let's take a look at two other students who are doing some really great things at Oxbow Creek, showing that they know that other people's feelings are just as important, if not more important, than their own. Well, hello, Oxbow Creek students and staff. I am here today with Nora in Miss Counter's class. Nora has been nominated for a Character Award for Empathy for a number of really great reasons. Nora, I was reading these wonderful things about you, and I'm, I'm going to state a couple of them, and then I want you to tell us a little bit more about how you continue to do this in your classroom. This says that Nora has the unique ability to know how someone is feeling just by spending a few moments with them. You never act without thinking. That's pretty exceptional. And because of these things, you have this really deep ability to understand what people might be going through, and therefore you never would say anything bad about anyone else. Is that true? Yeah. Nora, tell us how you stay so empathetic towards other people. What are you thinking when you might see something that even you would disapprove of? Um, like, Maybe sometimes when I'm with my sister um, and she doing something, I just think what she's her head. And that helps me think about if I should do. Yeah, that's pretty exceptional. You know, we, we all have different life experiences, don't we? Yeah. And those life experiences inform our decisions and certainly our feelings about things. And so when you're able to really put yourself in someone else's shoes and think about what they might be thinking, that helps you be really empathetic and certainly not judgmental at all. Does that, Nora, do you think that helps you maintain friendships well? Yeah. I bet it does because when people find someone that they can really connect with, that understands what they might be going through or certainly can um, empathize with that, that really does help maintain friend friendships. Nora, thank you for being here today. You're welcome. It's really great to celebrate you, honey. You take care. Well, hello, Expo Creek students and staff. I am here today with Izzy and Miss Hagberg. We're going to talk a little about Izzy and the great things that she does to show that she has empathy. And that's why we're celebrating her today with this character award. Izzy does some really incredible things. She is super skilled at identifying her feelings. That's not something many students can do at your age, Izzy. Ms. Hagberg, can you tell us more about this? She has really done a nice job expressing her feelings. She's always willing to tell me how she feels. She just shows that compassion and empathy for everyone and everything around her. She's expressed on several occasions her love for animals. Um, and I just think once she expressed that, just the love for animals, she just has the love for everything around her. So Izzy, what animal do you really love and want as a pet? I really want a pet fox. Why are you thinking about a fox? I really love caring for animals and I kind of want to do a sanctuary for foxes. That's why I want to get foxes and help them. 
That's great, Izzy. And like I said, I just think once you express your love for animals, you just have a love for everything around you, hon. And students at Oxbow Creek, Izzy, love that energy about you. When you're able to show your compassion and your excitement and your love for other things, it also helps you connect with students here at Oxbow Creek. So thank you so much, Izzy. You keep up this wonderful work. And I hope that someday we get to hear about your Fox Sanctuary. Well, I hope you were able to learn a little from Izzy and Nora this week. It is really important to make sure that in all of your interactions, both at home and at school, that you're considering the feelings of those around you. That's all we have for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful two days of school and an incredible winter break. We'll see you back here on January 4th.